Welcome back, guys. Taurus Virgo Cap. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit. If it doesn't fit, know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. You have to be 18 years or older to watch my reads. I do talk a little dirty. So if you get offended by dirty talk or nudie cards, just uh, find your way out of the read at that point. Come again another day. If you'd like to book a personal read, you could go to the description box below, rootsandrewards.com, or head over to Venmo Jesse Ray 21 to purchase a read. I also accept Cash App, uh, Money Sign, Roots and Rewards, and PayPal. If you'd like to do PayPal, I'll send you the uh, email. All right. Let's see, Earth Signs. Let's see what's up. What's up with the Earth Signs? What's coming in? What's going on with the energy? You don't have to be an earth sign for it to resonate. If it found you, it just may be for you. Let's see what's going on for the earth signs. What's going on? All right. Let's see. So you guys are on manifestation mode. You are a master manifester right now. So you're gathering your goods. You're gathering your mental stability, your physical stability, your pentacles, your emotional fulfillment. And you are moving. You're moving forward, away from heartbreak. So you're coming possibly out of a third party situation or just some kind of sadness uh, that you've been dealing with. So moving away from that trying to see things in a brighter way all right i think you guys are also protecting your energy too because something burdened you in the past possibly a person that couldn't uh, come in to emotionally invest in you someone that kept, kept you in lack kept you out in the cold they had immature behavior in and out behavior it was heavy on you very heavy on you. So a lot of responsibilities, a lot of burden, burdens on your back. So you're no longer waiting. I don't think you're waiting for this uh, person anymore that you once thought was a, a soulmate to you. You were emotionally invested in, in someone here and they couldn't give you the same investment so this is all in reverse now so this is being pulled away you're being pulled away from this situation here all right so three of swords what's this three of swords three of swords no longer keeping an eye out for this person, stalking them in any way. So you're trying to regain your emotional fulfillment here. You're wanting a new emotional start. You want someone to come in and fill your cup up with love. This past relationship made you a lot stronger than you were before. You're showing a lot of strength here. A lot of courage to continue to look forward and, and not uh, look back at things that were burdening you. Page of Cups. What's the Page of Cups in reverse? Page of Cups in reverse, yeah. You're turning away from this person. You're not, you're not gonna sit here and continue to give loving energy to a person that isn't reciprocating in some type of way or if they're connected to someone else uh, you're just you're sailing away from this person you're turning your back away and you're just waiting to see what's coming in next what kind of happiness is going to come into you So you're like, fuck it. If you're going to keep me in lack, if you're going to keep me in disappointment, if you're not really going to put effort into this connection, neither am I. I'm not going to continue to manifest something that's leaving 
uh, me in is not beneficial. This relationship is not beneficial to you because this person is not here giving enough to you. So we can't stay around in relationships that are people are not feeding our energy the way we want them to. So uh, you guys are saying, okay, go about your business. It's okay if you want to leave, go leave. If you can't feed into me, that's fine. I'm going to protect my energy and I'm, I'm going to stop giving to you emotionally in a loving manner because the, the reciprocation is not there person's not reciprocating their love energy that you were giving them you were giving them that big cup of love and they were they dropped the ball with you they caused a lot of heartbreak to you but now you're seeing all right i'm gonna fill my own cup up not expecting this person to do shit for you they might have been juggling you could be juggling you with the third party. You know, that could be friends, family. It could be another lover. It could be work, work life. They weren't making time for you. This person wasn't prioritizing you. They kept lift, leaving on that ship, not giving any type of stability. They made you feel rejected and wounded and put you way up in your head to the point where you... you we're in a lot of darkness due to this person's thievery. They were taking your communication, they were taking your love, taking you for granted, sneaking away. Instead of communicating clearly with you, this person's communication sucked with you. So it caused a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain. You felt beaten down by this person. Thief in the night. Yeah, they loved how you loved on them. But I think you guys are really gaining the strength to put an end to this, this relationship. Could be with a Leo or a Gemini. You're turning your back away and not expecting to be uh, romantically tied to this person anymore. Three of Wands. What are you looking forward to? Yeah, you tur you're turning away because it seems like this person made you feel um, this relationship with this person was toxic. Or this person themselves was toxic. It could be a Capricorn or that could be you. They caused a lot, they had a lot of toxic behavior, maybe addictions, obsession, possession, um, some type of control over you bondage to this person so this is why you're turning back away turning your back away from the toxicity because you just can't can't do it anymore you need you need a knight of pentacles to come in and and bring you that stability you want to be stable in a connection you want to feel grounded you want to feel appreciated you want to feel safe and protected in a relationship and this person came into your life and took your abundance away, took your fortune away. There was no abundance with this person because they were in their worrying about themselves and their cocky energy, maybe their narcissistic energy or tendencies, thinking about self and only self and trying to control every aspect and manipulate you and the relationship between you two coming up like CQ motherfucker that just out for himself or herself. Could be dealing with an Aries or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you're cutting through the shit, cutting off maybe your toxic behavior. Maybe you are addicted to this person or trying to manipulate and you're just saying, all right, I'm not going to lust after this person anymore. I'm going to cut my behavior, my toxic behavior out and use my intuition and not take shit from nobody. Putting up your boundaries. Really nice. Right, putting up your boundaries. So you're manifesting movement away from this uh, 
this partnership. Let's see what this person, what's going on with this person. Tell us a little bit about this person that's on my viewers' minds. How are they seeing? How are they seeing you? Could be a Sagittarius. Could be same sex gay couple. So uh, they know. They know that things have been hot and cold with you. They're aware that they did not give you the love that you were seeking. So this person, I don't feel like they could make up their mind what they wanted to do in this partnership or in this situationship, whatever it is. This person doesn't really say nice things to you. You know, they're not very, um, they don't really give too many compliments, I don't feel. They may want to come balance, balance it with you, with the temperance here. Wanting to balance it. But this person, they, they like to take. They do like to take your love and not replenish your cup in the same type of way. This is like a breadcrumber. You, they are, they're expecting a lot. You putting rainbows into their cup, right? All that love into their cup, but look at your cup. Uh, it's upside down, they leave you upside down and then you really can't gain anything. You're not gaining anything from this relationship with this person. King of Wands, they want to take passion action towards you and they want to, they want to come towards you. They do want to come in towards you. Leo Aries Sag. So they're going to be taking some direct communication with you, direct action. They're aware that they they didn't give you too much, that they left you in that lack, and that there's an ending here. There is an ending here, but this is what's going on. They're going to come in a little bit more angelic, I would say, <laughs> angelic or like peaceful and strong. This person could be stepping up. Um, but the communication with this person is going to still leave you unclear. The Knight of Swords is in reverse. So messages of clear communication, I don't see this person giving you that clear, decisive answers or anything. So what's the five of this? I think you do make this person happy. Three of Cups. You see? This person couldn't give to you because they're in third party. They have someone else or something else that's stopping them. That's why they had to dead this relationship and not give enough because there's other people with the Three of Cups. Other people. Yep, other people and that, that means that they would have to take on one more responsibility that they may not want to take on at the moment. They're stressed. This person's stressed. See, they went hermit. They could have ghosted you. This person could have ghosted you and just went off working on themselves and really didn't tell you too much. Could be a Virgo. That's you. Yeah, they're in hermit mode for now. Eight of Wands, what's this passionate communication coming in? What do they want? King of Swords. All right. So current energy, so past energy, they didn't want to be burdened. They had a lot of responsibilities. They're possibly in a third party situation and they kept you in lack. 
that's that's the past energy current energy this person may be at a distance from you not really coming in with too many emotions for you they're trying to temper themselves but yet they want to balance it in their head um it looks like they're going to come in pretty strongly pretty passionately to uh communicate what's on their mind or what they've been holding back they could be telling you i didn't come towards you because I was attached I couldn't come towards you because I was attached and I couldn't take on any responsibility and that's why I couldn't give you enough because this person wasn't ready uh, to go into another relationship they might have impulsively got involved with you they liked you and they just jumped in not thinking um, it would turn into anything Maybe they just wanted a one night thing or, you know, a little bit of a fling or a situation ship. You see? Yeah, they definitely couldn't give you any truth or clarity in the past. Or give you victory. But the thing is now, this person may have taken some time away from you right with the hermit card they could have been at a distance for you, from you you're in separation and this time that they've taken away from you not being around you this person is saying to themselves shit i want to i want to be victorious with this person i want to bring in some truth i want to start a new beginning and i want victory i want to make victory happen so they see that this relationship, they're wanting this relationship to gain victory. Putting the past in the past. But you wouldn't know this just yet because they're not ready. They may not be ready. Or maybe they have spoke, spoken to you already about their situation. But this person is trying to listen to their heart center more than their logical mind which they were listening to their logical mind because they were trying not to uh, cause a disruption. Meanwhile, they did anyway. All right, so the Ace of Swords, what's this truth? Two of Discs, that they're not gonna juggle anymore. There's no, no longer two options here. This person's done thinking about the past times feeling nostalgic they don't want to think about what happened in the past or you know missing you they don't want to rehash anymore they don't want to rehash this person also doesn't want to see you single definitely not uh, they're yeah Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. They want to take you off the market. Nine of Discs, taken off the market. This person doesn't want to see you with anybody else. Sun card, Leo. Could be a Leo not wanting you to get away from them. That's been nostalgic. That doesn't want to be nostalgic anymore. They want to make new memories here. Making new memories. This person may have some financial issues. Maybe they're try trying to transform their finances with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So not independent. Or finan just financially stable. All right. So the Hermit, what's this Hermit? What's this person doing next? So the sun card is here. So they're going to come and illuminate things to you. They're going to speak some truth, some clarity. They're trying to bring in happiness towards you now. Ten of swords. Wow. They're stressed the fuck out. Mm -mm. This person has a lot of stress. They do a lot of overthinking, overanalyzing. They talk themselves out of things that are actually potentially good for them. They talk themselves out of it. They're very like, uh, they're very um, 
sheltered in their energy. They don't allow many people to come in and uh, get to know them or get close to them uh, the way that you've gotten close to them. They're like cherishing. I feel like they, they cherish your presence in their life. They do now. They do now. Maybe they didn't once. But they do cherish it now. So they're, now they're in now they're in the conflict, the ten of swords that you are in, the con, the mental conflict that you felt, uh, being rejected by this person continuously, over and over again. Um, why they couldn't show up for you? Why they couldn't feed the connection? Why they ghosted? All of these things that this person caused you is now falling back on them. They're getting karma from this. I think you crack their shell a little bit. I think this person is very tough uh, to get close to and get to know. Um, and I think the way that they handle this situation is eating away at them. But then when they think about you, they, they kind of get into a peaceful state of mind, like restful. You could connect with Ivy. You may like Ivy. So Ivy, let's talk about Ivy for a second since I mentioned it. This person is coming towards you to spread their Ivy all over you. <laughs> to basically ivy the ivy plant grows wild and it could overwhelm fences and other you know it wraps itself around other plants and stuff so this person is wanting to wrap around you wrap around you and cling on to you and just absorb absorb your energy because they feel that you 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 cause this person to grow up you cause this person uh to look within themselves to see the the cracks in their structure you open this person up um, to a brighter way of living, it looks like, like a different way of living. Like they, this person possibly was in a lot of darkness in this relationship or whatever they were dealing with. And, you know, they felt dead. They didn't have any juices flowing down below or getting a hard wand. They didn't have any warmth feeling or feeling good about self. This person possibly that they were with it, it was it wasn't feeding their soul so when this person met you they had a lot of conflict going on in their lives and they were living in the shadows they they were living unhappy they thought they were content meanwhile you're here possibly you're being the ivy right you've taken time to work on this person and you know really uh, bring them up and attach yourself to them and give them all this love energy. You built them up where now they're seeing the cracks in their structure and now they're seeing a little bit of of sunshine here, a little bit of, okay, there's, there's hope. There's hope out here for me. I don't need to stay sheltered anymore. I don't need to feel that I'm less than. I don't need to feel that I need to harbor all of these emotions and darkness that I've been feeling. Wow. So you impacted this person's life. Mm -hmm. You definitely did. And that's why they're here wanting to communicate. They're going to turn into a pretty good communicator now that they've released some of that toxic energy that we saw in your spread, that devil card. Any way of, of um, thinking, addictions, whatever. They're, they've, uh, they've left that behind. 
and left it behind. Here they are with that message of love leaping towards you. Now they're able to come in towards you and give you an emotional offer. They still have some work to do because they're still showing up as a page. But they want to take a leap of faith. They're wanting to start new, new things. They're wanting to take a lighthearted approach with you. They're ready to, you know, uh, to feed you and to feed into you the way you've been wanting. Could be dealing with an Aries or Gemini or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You may know a lot about Roman, Roman's time, Roman time. You may have some kind of statues or artwork of Greek mythology, Romans. Your person may be uh, like a history buff. History buff. This person does have a very soft side to them that not many people see. To come off like a little cute little bunny like I feel like this person puts on a front to a lot of people like bulletproof I'm bulletproof that's the persona this person puts on like you could do every you could do anything to me and I'm still gonna bounce back and you're not gonna break me you're not gonna break me meanwhile this person is in the background suffering suffering in silence because they're a big mush ball. <laughs> they're the mushy, mushy, mushy. Suffering in silence. Probably because this is what they were taught in their childhood, how to deal. Deal with it within yourself. Figure it out yourself. You don't need nobody else to figure it out. You don't need to communicate with people. Just hold back and make moves in silence. person could have a gun with a silencer on it also. I'm getting that. Sun card. See, princess, princess of swords. Person's watching you. Person's still keeping an eye on you. They could be watching you on social media. Uh, in real life, you may work with this person. You may have mutual friends with one another. They still, they still here questioning thinking about you. <sighs> so, I'm getting Egyptian. They could be Egyptian, Arabian. Um, I'm seeing this person gets pulled in all different directions, I feel. They get pulled by people. Everybody wants something from them. This person may not know how to say no. They may overburden themselves because they want to make everybody happy. They want to keep everybody happy and wanting them. So I think this person looks a little bit outside of themselves for validation with the seven of swords here uh this person they know they fucked up they know they fucked up they know that they were being sneaky with you they weren't they were withholding they weren't being genuine authentic with you and basically they stabbed themselves in the fucking eye they stabbed themselves in the eye they stabbed themselves in the heart and now this person's sitting in this conflict here. They're sitting in their shit. The karma that they caused themselves. Looks like they're gonna come out of it though. They do, they will be coming out of it. Don't mind the nail, I just lost it today. <laughs> so they're gonna come out of this this thievery energy, this mental conflict, this holding back, this being hidden, not being decisive. They're coming out of this conflict here. 
once they come to you and apologize, I think this is what they're doing. They're coming in to apologize, excuse me, apologize to you with the page of, which with the princess of cups. <clears throat> this is then going to take them out of the mental conflict, help you out of the mental conflict, help both of you out of not feeling bad anymore. And this is where they're looking to go. They're looking to take a leap of faith with you because they feel that you are their fortune. You hold their abundance. They want to see your naked butt. They want you bending over for them. This person may have wings or a phoenix on their, their back, a tattoo possibly of, of angel wings, or this could be even artwork, um, like a 3D, 3D wings like colorful colorful wings like this in this card here those are not wings in the card but i saw them as wings and i really do i feel like this person may be uh, they may be catholic they could have a catholic upbringing or a lutheran upbringing but shit this person wants to turn the wheel in their favor with you they see abundance. They see abundance with you. This person feels that you are like-minded with them, that you guys make a nice match, that you're like a puzzle piece to this person. You're a puzzle piece to them. You're like one. This is, I'm getting a little bit of a twin flame uh, off of this card here. Person could have a beard. You could wear a braid in front of your hair there, vice versa. But there is fortune here. There is cycles changing. All right. So they are coming in. New stable. New stable beginnings. You're going to, I think you're going to second guess this person because you're going to be like, wait, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Now, you're all ready. You're all ready to give me that pencil deal. You're seeing my value. You're saying all the right things. You're doing all the right things now. I'm not trusting it. I'm not trusting it. So you're going to question it. All right. Let's see if they are um, being truthful. Is this person coming in truthful and authentic for the viewer? Truthful. See, they're, they don't want to hold back from you anymore. Definitely not. Definitely not. They're coming in. They're coming in. Yeah. See? The same cards just came out. No joke. No joke. So the temperance card could be a Sagittarius, could be a Gemini, could be a fellow Taurus, Virgo, Cap, Aries, um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Temperance is in reverse. They don't want to hold back. They don't want it to be unbalanced between the two of you. They do want to get close to you, get intimate with you, share time with you, hold you close become a lover again this person's gonna have a lot to say king of swords is here again so this person is gonna give you direct 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 communication um, I think this person may have had little little crows in their ear uh, telling them things uh, but this person decided to listen to their own wisdom with the owl listen to you know how you make them feel and exactly what goes on in the connection they're going by how you make them feel and they're just saying all right i have to i have to sit here and i have to gain my stability i have to become stable i have to become grounded and and value my person with the king of pentacles value my person and give give to my person Just thinking about you, you make this person happy. They like daydream about you. They definitely daydream a lot about you. But this was flipped like this, upside down. They don't wanna 
sit in past events. They're like, I'm sick of sitting, fantasizing about my person. I want them here and now. I want them here and now with me, close to me. I don't want to just daydream about my person. I want movement. I want to travel with the world, the wheel, the world card. I want to travel towards my person. I want to make changes. I want to close past cycles, start new cycles. I want to open up. I want to, they want you. This person wants you. They want your lips to their lips. Let's do a little sexy time. Looking good, 36, 36 on the clock. We'll look it up if I remember. Sexy time. What does this person want to say to my viewer? Sexual dynamic. So this is my sexy time oracle deck. It's twin flame inspired. Divine masculine, divine feminine. These are 40 over on my website or Venmo. Right. So the cards that I picked out for you is anal action. So they want to get in the back door or you're wanting to get in their back door. Anal action. And then some cuddle time after. So this person doesn't just want to sex you up, but they want to they want to have those intimate special moments with you. Those that warmth, soulful connection. They feel that it's a soulful connection between the two of you. Now, there could be somebody that here is bisexual. You could float both ways. Possibility. I did see the same sex there. All right. So this person may like that you're bisexual. That you like, you know, you like both. They're down for it. I'm scared of intimacy. All right, so they, they are fearing the conflict. They're fearing going into another relationship and starting new, starting over. Fear of intimacy. I can see your soul. So they feel a soul, a soul bond with you. Two of Cups energy is really nice. Let's see what intimate messages, um, what your person would like to say that they're unable to say. This is my Love Me, Love Me Not Oracle deck. Also Twin Flame inspired. It's 40. Um, I'm gonna tack on $2 shipping for them because it's, the shipping's getting crazy. Um, what does it say? I dream about you. Told you, told you. They sit there and daydream about you. They daydream about you. When they sleep, they dream about you. They get up, they think about you. They go to sleep, they think about you. Like, you're on this person's mind night and freaking day. Night and day. They're hating to be at a distance from you. I fear our connection. That kind of was in reverse. I feel like this is kind of past energy. I think this person is coming to a conclusion on what this connection is and what it has to offer them. So not, they're no longer fearing. I don't think, they're, they're coming out of fearing this connection. I do, I really feel that way. Not for all of you, but some of you. It's a collector read, so take only what resonates. Anything else? Mm-hmm, yep. I look at your pictures daily. I told you they're stalking. They do still stalk you. Now, this card is sideways. This card says, I'm sorry I can't release them. So definitely a lot of you guys were dealing with a third party situation. Now it's sideways here. So this person I feel is coming out of it, coming out of another connection. Uh, they may not be quite out all the way. They're like halfway out, halfway in. I do feel like they are leaving that person though, or that situation that you guys uh, have been going through uh so they think you are a star they look at you as a star they look at you as you shine really bright you shine a lot of light in their life and they're saying keep the faith i'm coming around i'm making a decision to come around and change my actions and you just may say i'm trying to forget you you're trying to forget this person but here we are they're still in your mind 
I know you guys are trying to walk away, which is fine. Continue to keep walking until you see action, behavior change, action, and words all meeting up. You know, if a person isn't, this person wasn't feeding into you. They were leaving you in lack and coldness. So eventually you have to say, enough is enough. I got to leave you in the cold now, right? If you're not seeing any change or they're not communicating, you got to leave it alone. So good for you that you're, you're making moves away from this person and let them, let them sit in their shit. But you're gaining the Ten of Cups here and you're, you're, you're gaining your value here and you're gaining this person. Three cards that were upside down on one of the decks. You're gaining the Ten of Cups. You're gaining your value, knowing your worth, and you're gaining this person coming in to emotionally invest in you, to value you, to give you the Ten of Cups. Happy home, happy partnership, happy relationship. Really nice. Very nice. So let's see. Let's get some initials, see who this person is. This is just to give you a little bit more clarity to, your, to see if this situation is yours. I do accept donations, guys. Uh, this is a career for me. I'm a mom of three and I do have a chronic illness. I'm also a real estate agent with One Stop Realty Shop. So every little bit helps me. Um, the donations, they do go back into the channel for cards, crystals. Um, I'm trying to look into different charms now. I wanna get some different charms. I think that would be really fun. Um, so the donations do help. I do a five sh um, seven chakra meditation, uh, healing intention candles for you. I clear them out with Palo Santo or Sage, whatever I feel that you're needing. I bless them, send over healing to you, and also send a meditation link uh, with them. It's either five for one chakra candle or the seven for 25. You save a little bit money uh, with the 20 with the seven for 25. So just message me over on Venmo or rootsandrewards.com. Uh, you could be 20. You could met this person in 2020 channel. Okay, I think you guys do channel each other's energies. I think you feel uh, the vibrational pull with this person, channel vibrations, right? So you may connect with this person uh, through music, or through like the astro realm. All right, B. All right, so right now you're just needing to be, there's no reason for you to continue to give uh, if you're not seeing this person reciprocating uh, your needs. Um, you may be going through some grief right now or you've been grieving. You've been grieving this person, maybe you're grieving a past loved one here. Okay, you're gonna be coming real soon. Come, 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 Camellia. Fire signs. There was a lot of coming in that read also. So you guys are dealing with uh, a fire sign. A lot of you guys, Leo, Aries, Sag. We saw Sag a lot, Leo a lot, Aries a lot, all three. Uh, so go check that out. I know for the last two weeks, earth signs and fire signs have been going together good. Um, there is love here between the two of you, and that's why, yeah, it's getting groovy. <laughs> you guys are, you're, you guys are starting to get in the groove of uh, each other, getting to know each other, or revisiting each other, relearning each other, getting in the groove of things. Uh, love is here. I said that. Don. All right, your person's name could be Dom. You could know this person for four years. You could be 43 or 34, March 4th, April 3rd, March 3rd, March 2nd. You could be 42 or 40, 30, April 3rd, April 2nd, April 20th, March 20th. 420, all right, you may be a little bit of a pothead. All right, you like your pot, 420. Cha-cha-cha, all right, you may like to dance, maybe you like salsa. You could be um, Hispanic. You could like frogs, or you're just wanting to leap. This person wants to leap towards you, like a like a leap frog. They're gonna be leaping in, leaping in towards you with all these emotions, wanting to come and ho ho ho. <laughs> all right, so this person may uh, you may feel like they they're a ho or they're known to be a ho. Ho. Oh. Cha cha ho. Notre Dame. It's 
DR, Dominic Republic. Oh, come. <laughs> okay. V1, a Volt. Volt. So they're opening that Volt. Could know this person for a year, 13 months, 13 years, 12 years, 14 years. Uh, address could be 1420. Could be 34. I don't know if I said that. 31, 21, 41. Come, 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 come. All right. Oh, it's getting late, guys. It's getting late. All right. They're coming in new and they want you in their bed. B E D, bed. Wanting you in. Enrico. Enzo. Um, um, Emily, Emma, Emmanuel, W, VW, men. Maybe you're sick of men. That's why you turn in bisexual. Oh, someone, you may be uh, saying vows with this person. This person could come in and propose to you. Vow. Or vow to make you come in their bed. <laughs> You're like, men. That's all you think about is sex, right? It's always sex. And Don Juan. All right. So they got a little bit of game. They got a little bit of a player energy, pimp daddy energy, model energy, good looking. Yeah, just like cha-cha. Like you, you something hot. You're a hottie. You're definitely a hottie. This person's looking to come. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm seeing Taurus and Pisces on that one. All right, that's it. We're not doing it anymore. Okay, so money's looking good. Money's coming in. You got the money sign here. You got a nice little hue about you. You're shining bright, guys. It's looking good. Homecoming. It's gonna be some type of homecoming and with this person. So <laughs> you may just say, fuck you. I just saw F you. Fuck you, see, see? <laughs> All right. I'm getting Lords, Lords, Lou. Nice bod. Got a nice bod. Adam, Amber, Victoria. Daryl. You may drive a GM. GM. B2. All right. Check your vitamin B. You may have a little bit of a deficiency going on there, Dominic. Okay, that's it. Oh. There's an energy here that's wanting to come through. Um, there might have been some type of accident. Um, I just saw a dead on arrival. All right, get emotional now. All right, getting like choked up. So you might have lost someone and you didn't get to say goodbye to them, that they were already gone by the time you got there. All right, hold on. Ooh, this one's heavy. I'm getting very choked up, I feel like. Maybe something with the throat. There's some how they passed, possibly.
All right, what is this person? What do you what do you, what do you want to say to the viewer? <laughs> Sorry, guys. They just they sneak up on me sometimes. Religious factors. Religious factors. What's going on here? really quickly I'm having a hard time getting the make on it okay. so this could be a lover of yours that has passed that you possibly were engaged to. There could have been some type of religious factors um, coming in between you guys. There was children left behind. factors and soulmate in reverse so something came in between here either with your partnership now or this person that passed religious factors so you guys could be from different backgrounds cultures this person may not have felt that you guys could be with each other. So they were trying not to look at you as a soulmate to them, even though they had a lot of passion for you and they wanted to commit to you. Could have been children coming involved in the connection. Um, this person's making an effort now. This person's making an effort this person that's coming in towards you. Now this person on the other side, it feels like it was a partner of yours that you lost. This person could have been very religious. They could have, it could have been a father. It could have been a father figure here too. I'm getting two different storylines. So for some of you, this could be a lover that's on the other side, a husband, a boyfriend, a wife, a girlfriend, right? Or this could be a father figure. They used to wear very dark, dark clothes. They liked very dark clothes. Um, and a little bit of a sophisticated look. They could wear hats like this also. Um, Could have been very religious, a very religious person here with the religion card. <sighs> All right, so they're saying, I feel like this past loved one is saying, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And I know something similar like this came up last week where there was a past loved one came in and saying, this is true love. So make the effort. Don't worry about the religion. Don't worry about the conflict that you're having. Make the effort and you'll get uh, what you're seeking. Now, 
this card so jess i know you follow me and i've connected with christopher a couple times i just i just want to throw this out here i think he's coming in for this also he's giving amelia a kiss he gives her kisses there's a daughter and son here so this could also be christopher it's going to be spirit comes in for all different people they bring multiple people and but i do feel like christopher is still um still around giving his little sis a kiss on the cheek there all right wow heavy heavy where are we going that totally sidetracked me all right self-care let, let, let me get you out of here because it's way too long all right self-care so you needed to relax. You needed to take a chill pill. I hope you're feeling better, Jess. I know you're sick. Um, drink some tea, chamomile tea, what I was telling you, lemon, lavender tea, steam water, you know, put your head, towel over your head. Um, clear energy field. You could clear it with Palo Santo, sage, um, water. Whatever you gotta do, clean the house, clean your car, get rid of some paperwork, old mail and junk, shit like that. Uh, sweet treats, so maybe you need to give yourself a sweet treat. You're deserving of it. Treat yourself well here. And sound healing, look on, uh, look on YouTube here and look up some sound healing. Either um, Indian flute music is really nice, singing bowls, sound bowls, crystal bowls chakra healing bowls all right and that's what i got for you guys hope you enjoyed the read hope it did give you some clarity to your situation next up is water signs and uh yeah just keep yourself in high regard continue doing what you're doing releasing this person and um when they come back in just allow them to show you what they're working with it looks like they are coming in in a healthier manner and taking your feelings into consideration so that's a plus and see where it goes from there all right Talk to you later. Bye, guys.